a trip to the amusement park. One of the most exciting experiences as a kid is going to an amusement park. Let me take you through a day of visiting my local amusement park. I will tell this story in the present tense, but it is really a composite of many memories from my childhood through the present. Knobles Amusement Resort is located in Elysburg, Pennsylvania, USA. Central Pennsylvania is a rural area with forested mountains. The valleys between the mountains are a mix of forest and farmland with many small creeks. Knobles is located in one of these valleys. The rides start operating at 11 a.m., so there is no need to leave the house too early. My dad, my mom, my older brother, and I get into our red van for the 45-minute drive. As we approach the park, we can start to see rides through the trees. We join the line of cars waiting to park on a large farm field. Knobles is unique in that parking is free and there is no entrance fee. We walk into the park and our first stop is the ticket counter. You can pay to ride in two ways. The first is using ride tickets. Each ride has a dollar value and you pay that amount in tickets before boarding. You can purchase books of these tickets. The other option is to buy an all-day ride pass you get a hand stamp and a bracelet that gives you access to all the rides. My dad and I love roller coasters. We prefer to ride them early in the day when the lines are shorter. First, we head to the Twister, which is the newer of the park's two wooden roller coasters. We pass the large swimming pool with diving boards. We cross a bridge that takes us across a creek. At the ride entrance, we show our hand stamps to the worker. We follow the path until we reach the others already waiting in the queue. The line is single file until you get close to the station where it splits and you choose which car you want to ride in. The first car and the last car always have the longest lines. The first car is fun because you don't have anyone in front of you, but I like the back better because it whips you over the top of hills giving you more air time. We choose the last car. I like to keep my hands up during the ride, but pull them down when I am afraid of hitting them on something overhead. A camera takes your photo during the ride. Afterwards, you can go to a stand and buy the photo. Next, we ride the Phoenix, which is regularly voted as one of the top wooden roller coasters in the world. Whereas the Twister has a lot of twisting turns, the Phoenix is straighter with constant hills for a lot of airtime. After that, I head to one of my favorite rides, the Cosmotron. As a kid, I imagined that the Cosmotron is what a nightclub must be like. It is in a round, metal building. I stand in line outside and hear the muffled rock music from inside. When the ride ends, the exit door opens and the riders stream out of the dark, foggy room. When they have all exited, the entrance door opens and we are let inside. On the left is a small DJ booth playing music at a moderate volume. A fog machine fills the room with smoke. Colored lights shine around the building. About 40 cars form a continuous circle on a track with small hills. A metal walkway encircles the cars. I get into an empty car which has a seat large enough for three people to sit side by side. I pull down the metal lap bar. The lights go completely out and the previous song fades away. The ride begins to spin. A pop song starts to play at a deafening volume. Colored lights flash all around the room. A laser reflects off of a disco ball at the peak of the ceiling. I push my feet against the angled floor and hold onto the lap bar to prevent the centrifugal force from throwing me outward. The ride slows and stops, then begins spinning in reverse. Eventually, the song ends and the ride stops. I get off feeling a bit dizzy and thankful that I did not eat anything beforehand. One of the classic rides is the Carousel, which is over 100 years old. Marching music plays from an antique organ. You sit on a horse that goes up and down on its pole as the carousel spins. If your horse is on the outer row, you can grab metal rings from a dispenser. Most of the rings are steel, but if you grab a brass ring, then you get a free ride. At the end, you throw all of the rings you collected into the mouth of a lion. Knobles has a Ferris wheel that is 110 feet tall. A Ferris wheel is a large upright wheel with cars dangling beneath. It turns slowly, giving riders at the top a nice view of the park. 
Knobles has a lot of options for food. My family always goes to the same restaurant and we split a cheese pizza. My parents order the food and I keep riding while they wait for it to be cooked. I always get a vanilla ice cream cone too. After lunch, we want to go on a gentle ride to give our food time to digest. Conveniently, the haunted house is nearby. The haunted house is not included with the hand stamp, so you must pay with tickets. The haunted house is what is called a dark ride. You sit in a car that can hold two people, and the car slowly winds through the dark interior of the building, which has scary decorations and sound effects. Every second, something new is happening. First, a monster is jumping at you. Then a bookshelf is falling at you. Then a ghost drops from the ceiling. You hear organ music, rattling chains, and screams. The best scare is towards the end when a pair of headlights suddenly shines at you and a horn blares as if you were about to have a head-on collision with a truck. On a fourth grade field trip, I rode the haunted house with a girl who had a crush on me, and she thought it was funny when I jumped at this scare. There is a lot of entertainment around the park. A storytelling stage show lets children dress up and participate. A live band plays from a band show. A group of high school singers performed songs from different eras as they dance around. My dad always wants to ride the train. The cars have no roof and the seats are only wide enough for one adult. The train goes along the edge of the park, underneath the water slides and the twister and through a tunnel. It passes through the woods where we see deer and squirrels. The ride lasts about 10 minutes. If you don't mind getting wet, you can ride the log flume. Each little boat looks like a log and can hold up to four people. This ride has two drops. The second one is higher and ends with a big splash as you reach the bottom. At the game stalls, you can play to win stuffed animals and other prizes. There is a mini golf course in the park and a real golf course nearby. There are multiple souvenir shops where you can buy collectible items and park merchandise. One shop has a Christmas theme with a frozen North Pole out front. An interesting attraction tucked into a back corner of the park is an enclosure with two bald eagles. These eagles are injured and cannot survive in the wild, so they are used for educating the public about this magnificent species. Wild bald eagles can sometimes be seen soaring over the park too. Knobles is located in the coal region of Pennsylvania. It has a museum about coal mining and even a roller coaster called Black Diamond that has a coal mine theme. Knobles is not far from the town of Centralia, which is famous because a fire has been burning in the coal mines beneath the town for over 50 years. You can camp at the park if you plan to stay several days and don't want to drive back and forth. By the late afternoon, I am tired from all the excitement and ready to go home. I feel a bit disappointed that the fun is over, but I'm glad that I got to ride everything that I wanted to. What is your favorite amusement park? Leave your answer in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more English listening content. This is David B. Thanks for listening.